So how was your presentation? How did you feel it went? Uh, I felt like it went pretty well. It's pretty decent, but uh, I thought I was speaking loud in the beginning, but <laughs> in reality I wasn't, so I, I got multiple comments telling me to speak louder, but at least it, I know that's something to improve on later on. Yeah, and I think your experiments are really, really cool. Which one was your favorite that you did? Uh, the five-second rule experiment was my favorite because I got to... Uh, uh, I got to do the most experimenting on that one. And Very cool. Not, not saying that uh, the other experiments were bad, I'm just saying that that was my favorite one to do. Yeah, oh no, there's always, it's fun to find experiments and see what you like and what you're good at. Mm -hmm. Do you, what, how would you change that experiment if you were going to do it again? Would you add more foods, different environment? Uh, I'd probably uh, make my cheese and bread, the two, uh, or make any food item, I'll test the same t room temperature. Mm -hmm. And uh, by... Uh, pre-order or not or pre-order uh, agar in the plates that are already filled in so I don't have to make my own and just to make sure that agar doesn't get contaminated mm -hmm. but that's definitely something I would do different cool what was the hardest part do you think of doing because you had a lot of experiments that used a lot of you know real life things like the agar and everything like that what was the hardest part to control I think it's uh, keeping keeping track of like the dates because mm -hmm. uh, I'll admit sometimes I forgot like, oh, what date is it? Oh, <laughs> is it time yet? And that's why I lost images for the third date. I originally took pictures of it, but then I don't know what happened to it. Uh, but I'll never know what, dates, uh, what date it was and, and stuff. So I guess keeping track of it was the hard, hardest part. Gotcha. That makes sense. That's a good that's a good lesson to learn, too, for future experiments. Yeah. And how did you come up with using the RF value to measure for the pedals? Uh, in all honesty, uh, An Anu helped me with that. Oh, cool. And also the website uh, taught me a little bit about RF value. And so uh, that was basically what I had to measure, uh, depending on uh, the website and with Anu's help. That, that's where I got the idea. Cool. That's awesome. So you learned something new there. That's really fun. Yeah. And how do you think your experience with magic kind of shaped what you'll do next? Uh, I really liked it, and uh, I'll, I'll still still, wait, I just said still two <laughs> times. I'll still look into chemistry, because mm -hmm. I still find it really interesting. Uh, and I'll keep biolo uh, the biology in mind, uh, too, still. And uh, whatever category fits, fits the five-second rule experiment, uh, I'm assuming it's, n of course it's still science, but um, I don't really know what category it goes to. Mm -hmm. Is it biology? I, I'm not too sure. I kind of, uh, but I'll definitely look into chemistry and whatever the five second rule category uh, falls into because cool. I really enjoy those two. That's so exciting. And do you think that you, if you were to do another experiment, like a magic type experiment again, what would you do next? That I, I'm not sure because uh, I wasn't really thinking of that too much after mm -hmm. after my five second rule, uh, so I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'll just I just get experiment ideas from what what I think about uh, during my daily life. I'm like, huh, I can make an experiment about this. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do next, but. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not awesome. really sure. Well, thank you so much for answering my questions. You did an incredible job, oh, and I'm really excited to see what you do next. <gasps> thank you. <laughs> okay.